Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Tara and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So today I decided the way I was going to kind of implement my channel and start something new was to do a clothing haul and you know with quarantine and everything I have been one of the counterproductive people where I've been I've been cleaning out my closet and then buying more clothes which defeats the whole purpose but I decided that I was gonna do um, a summer clothing haul because you know it is late May almost June and I figured it was time to add some new pieces to my closet I decided hey let's get some new dresses it started of course with one purchase and then one purchase was suddenly not enough I figured why not do a haul while I'm at it so I got a bunch of things. I got stuff from Abercrombie and Finch. I know, I know, I know people don't like Abercrombie nowadays, but I used to work for Hollister, which is their partner company, and I kind of like their clothes, so I got some stuff from Nordstrom Rack. I'm looking in the distance because that's where like my pile of clothes is. Um, I got stuff from Target, Nike, so we got a little mix of everything. We got a little mix of everything. So I'm going to just start going into stuff. The first company that I bought things from was Abercrombie & Finch, like I said. I got quite a few pieces. I did have to return, well I haven't returned it yet, but I do need to return one thing I bought. It was like this silk blush colored long sleeve and it was super cute, but it was just a little too tight and but everything else fit really great and i was overall really pleased with my purchase so the first thing i bought was this white cami crop top now i say crop with hesitation because it, i always wear high rise bottoms and because of that it really doesn't show your stomach and i like it because it's a very classy look and you can dress it up dress it down and it's just a great staple item. The next thing I got was this lilac cinched v-neck long sleeve. And I really like the material. It's a nice soft cotton. It is a little bit more cropped than I thought it was going to be. But I thought this shirt would be perfect for one of the skirts that I'll show later on. And in addition to this, I do live in Florida and I don't have a lot of long sleeves. But... It occasionally does get chilly in like December and January and I thought I would add some color because all my long sleeves are neutral colors and sometimes that gets boring. The next thing I got is this really cute wrap skirt that's in black and white. Ooh, that's not the right way. And it has this nice ruffle at the bottom and even though it says it's a wrap skirt it doesn't actually like fully wrap through it has a zipper so it's kind of a mock wrap skirt but i really like this because i have a lot of neutral tops and even with the top i'm wearing right now or that cami i got earlier it will pair really nicely and i've just been in a skirt and dress mood this summer so i expect to wear that quite a bit actually Moving on to dresses, I got two from Abercrombie, and the first one I got is this light blue and white midi length floral dress. It has a nice stretchy top, kind of similar to the other two rib tops that I have, and it has these ruffly sleeves along with pockets and a slit. I really like this because it's going to be perfect for the summer, however it's thick enough that it's very versatile and it feels like it was well made and I think it will be a really good staple piece for the summer. The last item I got from Abercrombie, and this is probably my most favorite item out of this entire haul, is this leopard long sleeve dress. Ugh, it is so cute it has these cinched um very sheer sleeves and it has a nice v-neck along with a stretchy back and a kind of similar to the wrap skirt floral not floral uh ruffle bottom 
I have been looking for a dress super similar to this since September of 2019 because I went to a convention in Chattanooga and this woman there was wearing a dress very similar and I asked her because I was absolutely obsessed with it but she got it from a local boutique from her town back at home and obviously I wasn't going to be able to get anything like like it and eventually I saw this dress and I had to get it because that's exactly what came to mind and I'm so happy it fits well and I cannot wait to wear that even though it's long sleeve and won't be exactly the first choice I'll wear in the summer I get cold in restaurants and AC buildings anytime so I will definitely get my fair use out of it. The next store that I decided to buy things from was Nordstrom Rack. Now I did have a little bit of a mishap where two of the items that I did order in addition to the two I showed did not deliver. Now I don't think it was the company's fault, I think it was UPS that either delivered it to the wrong house or something got lost in shipment, but I didn't receive the two extra pairs of leggings. So I was supposed to get a white pair of leggings and black pair of leggings, but they did not come. Uh, fortunately, I was able to get a refund for those two items, but I've been looking for white leggings for a really long time, and I just feel like it's in nature that I'm just not gonna have white leggings for a long time, but that's okay. Um, I'm very grateful for getting the items that I did, but, so I got these leggings in shadow gray, I think is what, or evening gray, something like that. And the reason why I really like these leggings is they're supposed to be Lululemon dupes. If you look up on Amazon, Lululemon dupes, these are the first company of leggings that pop up. They're called 90 Degree by Reflex. And they even, if... And I'm saying this because a lot of people do buy items just because of their branding and logo, not necessarily the quality, but it does have a circular design. So from afar, it does kind of have that Lululemon arch circular logo that you see on their branding, but I really love the fit of it. It has an inner hip pocket and when you wear it, it stretches more so you can fit your whole entire phone. You could probably fit your AirPods with your phone and just anything essential you would want while working out. I got the ankle cut because I am 5'1 and even though ankle cut is supposed to hit slightly above your ankle, it hits where leggings would normally hit for me so it works out perfectly and even though I am not familiar with the Lululemon brands and how they fit I would say that they're a really good quality legging and you really can't go wrong. The other item I got are these Steve Madden tan sandals. Now I really really like Steve Madden shoes but they can be so expensive. Like I'm talking these were originally I think $79 and I ended up getting them for $39. I did order them in two pairs because I don't know about if you guys have the same problem as me. But every time I order from Steve Madden, my size ends up being different and my foot size isn't changing. It's literally just Steve Madden. I have a size in size seven, size seven and a half and eight. So it just depends on the style, but these actually worked in my initial size, seven and a half. So they're really nice. They kind of give me Greek vibes. Like I could see myself walking along Greece you know kind of like mama mia vibes i'm not sure why i get this vibe from these i guess because they're just tan sandals but i definitely think these will be a staple in my summer wardrobe and they're super comfortable the next company that i bought from was actually dick's sporting goods but i just said nike at the beginning because i don't know i just like i only got one item and that's what came to mind but I got these really basic Nike, I think they're called Hyper or Hypo Running Shorts. I'll, I'll link everything down below so you can find these items if you're interested. They're a really good basic short. I used to live in Georgia and these shorts are very popular in like every style. I personally didn't wear them that often when I did live in Georgia and they're not necessarily a popular style. Uh, in Florida, but 
they're really comfortable and I figured that they would be versatile in both like sleeping in and working out in and just lounging in so I figured why not. I did get a second pair in white but I will be returning those because they are so sheer, so sheer and see through that <laughs> they will not be staying at all. <laughs> Another company that I purchased something from was actually a third-party company um, from my business fraternity. There was a chapter in Wisconsin that reached out to me because I'm the VP of marketing for my chapter and they let us know that they were having a sell, sell, sale and it was open for any chapters so I decided to cop one of their sweatshirt options and it's super simple but I really like it. It's a Port and Company white sweatshirt with just basic black lettering and it's very small. I know it's super super subtle but I decided I wanted, I've been looking for a white sweatshirt for a while, I just didn't know what kind of design I wanted and I figured getting something with something a little bit more personal to me would matter more than just like some random design. So that's why I opted for this. It's super comfortable and like I said, I get really cold very easily and I will get my use out of that for sure in the fall semester. <sighs> Please Corona, I would like to go back. <laughs> Another company that I got items from was Victoria's Secret Pink. I'm just going to skim quickly through it because I am wearing one of the items and I'm obviously not going to try it on. But I just got a couple of strapless bras because I do wear a lot of tank tops and uh, sleeveless tops where it would show through a regular bra style. So I got this in black and tan and it's a great item to just have in your closet. I highly recommend their strapless bras. The last store that I bought things from was Target and I bought these in person instead of online, however, I was only going to Target for specific items and groceries, so please don't come at me for just leisurely going to Target during these times, but I did pick up a few things um, on the two different times that I went. So starting off with the dresses, I got this very simple ribbed tank top dress with ruffles along the sides. I guess I have a lot of ruffly style things this summer. I'm not sure why, but I figured it was time to get a new black dress because the one I already had was getting way too short and I couldn't wear it out anymore. And you really can't go wrong with a black dress in my opinion. It's so timeless and classic. So added to the collection. The other dress I got is this Thai tank top dress in a nice, I don't know what kind of pink this is, like a salmon I guess, with more floral designs and again ruffles. You can't really see the ruffles very well but it's a very minimal ruffle and although it's a little longer than I would prefer, it's still a really cute dress and I see myself wearing it quite a lot and it's good for any season really. Thank you so much for staying and watching the entire video. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to help support me. Uh, the real purpose that I started this channel was just to help grow my marketing skills and my profile. So every way that you can help just by liking and subscribing and leaving a comment for suggestions for future videos will help me in so many ways. I hope you guys stay safe and healthy during these uncertain times and I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. Bye!